नमस्ते आई वेलकम माई स्टूडेंट टीचर्स फॉर द कोर्स नॉलेज एंड करिकुलम फॉर द सेकेंड यूनिट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड नेचर ऑफ करिकुलम दिस इज डॉक्टर वी गिरिजा प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन बेस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एडवांस स्टडीज चेन्नई द प्री रिक्वेस्ट टू लर्न दिस मॉड्यूल इज फाउंडेशनल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एजुकेशन फिलोसफी pedagogy learning theories and the broader context of education systems is required for the student teachers the objective of this module is to make the students understand the foundations analyzing components aligning with educational goals awareness of trends social context and facilitating learning this module deals with the concept and nature of curriculum in the unit it talks about the meaning of curriculum need for curriculum in schools introduction of curriculum curriculum is an important factor to achieve educational aims and objectives and curriculum is often defined as the course offered by a school but is rarely used in a general sense in schools curriculum includes both curricular and co-curricular activities curriculum is the base in education on which the teaching learning process is planned and implemented curriculum includes all planned learning experiences organized by a school based on the education aims and objectives curriculum is the sum total of the academic and non academic experiences of a school it is based on educational intended outcomes to fulfill the personal and social growth of the leader learners learner uh, meaning of curriculum Etymologically the term curriculum is derived from the latin word curare which means run or run away or a running course thus curriculum means a course to be run for reaching a certain goal author j williams lewis and mid allies in the year 1972 has defined curriculum as a set of intentions about opportunities for engagement of persons to be educated with other persons and with the things that is all barriers of information process techniques and values in certain arrangements of time and place a curriculum means uh, the total situation that is all situations selected and organized by the institution and made available to the teacher to operate and to translate the ultimate aim of education into reality let us look into the definitions of curriculum curriculum intends uh, includes all the learning experiences offered to all the learners under the direction of school it is the definition is given by c ronald the school curriculum becomes what it is in any school at any any given moment because of social setting <clears throat> the ideals and commitment of individuals and the skill understanding and strategy of those concerned with change is the definition given by kimball wise curriculum as the sum total of student activities which the school sponsors for the purpose of achieving its objectives by the definition given by albert e a and albert e e the <coughs> the blonds encyclopedia of education defines curriculum as curriculum as all experiences which a people has under the guidance of the school the most uh, apt definition which was given by cunningham is school a curriculum is the totality in the hands of artists that is the teachers to mold his materials that the peoples in accordance with the ideal in a studio the school studio the school here cunningham defines uh, uh, i mean refers a teacher to an artist and pupil to an material and a school to studio thus a curriculum is the instructional program through which people achieve their goals in the words of cunningham curriculum is a tool in the hands of the artist uh, the teacher to mold his materials according to his ideal objective in his studio the school and the material is highly self active self determining human being who reacts and responds consciously curriculum may be defined as the social environmental in motion it is the sum total of all the activities and experiences provided by the schools to the learners for achieving the desired objectives the courses of studies are merely a suggestion for curriculum activities and procedures 
a guide for teaching to follow. Curriculum is a strategy by which school, uh, schools attempt to fulfill the goals of education that is Spalding. It is a plan for action or a written document that includes strategies for achieving desired goals or ends which is given by Ralph Taylor and Hilda Taba. Importance of Curriculum Curriculum plays an important role in the educational process. Curriculum is a course of study to a product or education. It is the knowledge and skills that students are expected to learn as they progress through the school system. We see the na nature of curriculum such as including all the subjects which help a child in its cognitive development. It is a program of planned activities. We need curriculum in schools because it gives the necessary constructional frame to achieve the education aims. It helps in all the uh, in all round development of a child. It helps teachers to effectively maintain quality education. Curriculum contributes for successfully carrying out the educational program. Now we shall look into the nature of curriculum. Curriculum as a plan, curriculum as an experience, curriculum as a subject matter, curriculum as an objective, curriculum as a system and curriculum as a field of study. Scope of curriculum. Curriculum is therefore very comprehensive in its scope. It touches all aspects of life, the peoples, the needs and interests of the peoples, environment, which should be educationally congenial to them, ways and manners in which their interests can be handled and warmed up, the procedures and proce approaches which cause effective learning among them, the social efficiency of the individuals and how they fit in with the community around. It is intimately related with the individual as a member of the society. It embodies the educational philosophy, the values with which it aims to achieve, the, pur uh, the purpose it wants to philosophy, the values it aims to achieve purposes, it wants to realize the realize and the specific goals that it wants to achieve. The emphasis is on the child. In the total education of the child, all the subjects like history, geography, science la and language are but tools. These are the means and therefore the children must not be made to fit in such today, in such study. The concept of curriculum. The traditional concept of curriculum and modern concept of curriculum. I, I, in the traditional concept of curriculum, the curriculum is viewed as a mastery over certain skills and certain areas of knowledge. Whereas in the modern concept of curriculum, more than textbooks, more than subject matter and even more than the courses of study, curriculum uh, from the curriculum it has been expected and uh, if we look into the curriculum in a broader and a narrower sense it has a different uh, it gives a uh, new perspectives for us whereas in the broader sense of curriculum uh, the I mean the curriculum is the sum total of all the experiences that are involved in the school and the outside school it includes total experiences given by the manifold activities. It includes both curricular and co-curricular activities. It works to develop the personality of the child. It has a more creative and forward outlook. It is child-centered. The need for curriculum. As we all know, the curriculum has a very broader meaning and helps in achieving the education aims and the objectives. Curriculum is needed in schools since it contributes in the following ways. The ways in which the curriculum contributes to the in the school. It gives necessary constructional framework to achieve the educational aims. It indirectly shows the specific path to achieve education aims and gives effective learning to students by providing a variety of learning experiences. Curriculum mainly helps in children's all-round development. It builds a balanced personality and helps to use of leisure time constructively. And uh, curriculum coordinates the processes of learning, teaching, evaluation and curriculum develops creativity and forward outlook. It contributes to bring quality, equality of education.